Fat activist, author, and comedian, Vergi Tovar, has advice for you on how to raise your children. You gotta be so good that they can't ignore you, especially the ones that ain't done shit for you. Yeah, you know exactly what I'm meaning. They stab you in the back and then they ask why you're bleeding. I don't trust words. I trust actions. I don't care what you heard. I'm not slacking. My name is Alan Roberts. This is Every Damn Day Fitness. Like, subscribe, and click the notification bell right over there and share my videos. Thank you very much. Also, please do look above both the end for this month's special for Damn Collective Coaching. That's where my wife, myself, and our team are in daily contact with individuals, and we do weekly conference calls with them. We provide all sorts of resources to help people gain a better relationship with food and a better relationship with their health. The idea is, is that we take a person's lifestyle and we morph it bit by bit by bit slowly so it is a consistent and sustainable lifestyle that once they get to a healthier lifestyle, they can continue on for the rest of their lives at a healthier weight or with a better relationship with food. So please do check that out above below at the end. Thank you very much. So this is Miss Vergi Tovar. She is a comedian, a fat activist, and an author. Since I'm also an author, I'll probably send her a copy of my book, Fuck Being Fat. But she has some words of wisdom for you about how to raise your children in today's world. It's fucking crazy. She wrote on her Instagram the other day that you do not need to protect your children from being fat. You need to protect them from diet culture. So before we go on to Miss Tovar's completely lunatic fucking post, all you wackadoo motherfuckers out there that call yourselves fat activists or anybody else from the Morbid Obesity Acceptance Society, please do listen up. Um, it is one thing if you guys want to lie to yourselves. It's completely one thing if you want to lie to yourselves and act like that you can still be morbidly obese and be healthy, or it is not dangerous for you. Even though there is a virus going on right now, I, you guys might have heard of it, that is very problematic and that is very dangerous for people that are elderly and or immunocompromised, and the immunocompromisations that are normally associated with people having a high risk of dying from this virus are very correlated and linked to morbid obesity, and oftentimes the places that are you know counting underlying conditions literally list morbid obesity as being one of them. So it's okay if you still want to, I don't know, completely ignore all the fucking evidence that's been around for decades and the new stuff that's coming out. If you guys wanna to lie to yourselves and be that fucking weak-minded, feel fucking free. Deep down, you know it's fucking true. Deep down, you either know that starving yourself or gorging yourself to the point where you loo continually lose weight when you're at an unhealthy low weight or when you are already morbidly obese and you continue to eat to the point where you gain weight, you deep down know that eating disorder is whooping your fucking ass. You deep down know, many, many, many people from the Morbid Obesity Acceptance Society, many people know, you know, say that, oh, well, I, you know, I'm recovering from an eating disorder and that's, you know, you know that's why I'm not on a diet. Um, if you're, 300 pound woman and you're 5'3", say, how the fuck are you doing, Tess? Um, and you, uh, you know, continue to eat and gain weight, you are not recovering from shit. You're not recovering from fucking shit. That eating disorder is fucking killing you. It's whipping your fucking ass. If you have unhealthy behaviors with food and you are even of a normalized weight and you just deep down know it's unhealthy, go look yourself in the fucking mirror and ask yourself, is this really healthy? You know, just ask yourself. When you are a, you know, a morbidly obese person and you're ordering food, you should be thinking, is this healthy for me? Because you are not healthy. You are not in a healthy state. You're not at a healthy weight. You are not fucking healthy. And there's shit out here that's fucking killing you. And to be very fucking real, that is your fucking choice if you're a full ass grown adult. You can lie to yourself all you want. That is on fucking you. As long as you are not directly hurting somebody else, uh, I see no issue with you choosing to live a painful, shortened, very dangerous fucking life right now. That is totally on you. That is your fucking choice. Fe you know, please feel free to do so. I think it's rather fucked up that you could possibly, if we have you know some sort of huge issue again, uh, you could possibly take a bed away from somebody that's done their very best to just live a happy, healthy, long life. Uh, who just happens to be elderly or happens to have some sort of, you know, genetic immunocompensation or something they were born with or something they got, like maybe somebody that just survived cancer, um, they might need a bed that you might take because you can't say no to ho-hos. So just keep that shit in mind, but perfectly within your rights to choose to treat your body like shit as if you have a fucking spare when you actually fucking don't, shortening your own life, causing more pain, causing yourself to look like you are just giving in. You are fucking totally welcome to do that shit. That is your fucking choice. Uh, when you start talking about, you know, uh, it is okay for kids to be fat, that makes you a full on shit bag of a human being and you should be fucking ashamed of yourselves. Society should say, no, no, no. It is okay if you want to glitter and unicorn and deny all sorts of shit you fucking want about your own fucking health. 
But when you start talking about kids, um, society should you know, rear up and say, shut the fuck up. Her post continues, body diversity is good. Diet culture isn't. Despite the fear mongering around, quote, childhood obesity, end quote, there is no evidence that attempting to control a child's weight leads to further weight loss or any positive outcomes. And in fact, it's correlated with an increased likelihood of developing an eating disorder, body dissatisfaction, and anxiety. Yes, moving our bodies is good. Yes, veggies and fruits are good. Yes, water is good. Yes, getting into nature is good. And so are hundreds of other things that we are already doing intuitively because they are fun and pleasurable. We can share and teach habits that promote physical and mental wellness including sharing and teaching that all bodies are good and worthy, that are 100% divorced from weight outcomes. Just so much bullshit all in one fucking paragraph. It's, it's fucking crazy. This woman is a full-on fucking lunatic, in my opinion, of course. She's a full-on fucking lunatic. Here's the thing. A couple things I... Uh, the first thing I agree with. All bodies are worthy. You are worthy. You out there listening to this. If you are a 400-pound motherfucker, if you're a 300-pound motherfucker, if you're 100 pounds overweight or more... Um, you are worthy of happiness. You are worthy of health. And you are worthy of trying your very best to make sure you lead the happiest, healthiest, longest life possible. You are fucking worthy. You should deem yourself as such. If you did realize that you are worthy of a long, happy, healthy life, you would not be a part of the Morbid Obesity Acceptance Society any fucking more. And Vergi Tovar would make you laugh out loud. Uh, she would openly make you fucking laugh. I have never seen individuals more fucking projecting than these fat acceptance advocates. I've never fucking seen it. They are clearly unhealthy themselves, fucking clearly. Um, and then they project it out. The only time you don't see somebody that's a fat acceptance advocate that's clearly unhealthy are the ones that are making serious fucking money off fat people like Jamila Jamil and fucking Christy Harrison and Lindo Bacon and those fucking people. They are fucking making serious money off you motherfuckers because they're selling you shit uh, mental shit that's not fucking actually real. All bodies are worthy. You're worthy of happiness. All bodies are not good. Uh, if you are way, if you're 100 pounds overweight, your body is not good. You need to make it good. You need to fucking work on that shit. If you are fucking 30 pounds underweight, your body is not good. You need to fucking do something about that. If you are treating your body like shit, even of a normalized weight with unhealthy behaviors, your body's not good. If you smoke or if you overindulge, if you fucking restrict, if you do anything, if you do unhealthy behaviors consistently, your body is not good because you're not treating it good. You are not treating your body well. You are absolutely not. You should treat your body well because then it will treat you well. And you can lead a long, happy, healthy life without the fear of catching a virus every fucking year and dying from it. Because that's the fucking truth. That's a new fucking reality that many people are probably going to face. That if this is a yearly thing that we're going through, as you treat your body like shit year after year after year, it becomes a much, much higher likelihood every fucking year that you're going to die. Stop being a fucking fool. Stop lying to yourself. Brush the fucking glitter off your goddamn desk and to have a real conversation with yourself. Don't be fucking dumb. Don't be a fucking victim of these fucking people. And this woman saying that, you know, there's no correlation between trying to control your child's weight. You know what? I would love to see the fucking data on that shit. However, here's the fucking thing. Don't put your kid on a fucking diet Lead by example and eat fucking healthy and have fucking activity. Take your kid out for a fucking walk. Take your kid out for a fucking jog. Stand your kid the fuck up. Take your kid to the fucking gym with you. Take your kid to fucking hike with you. Have your kid eat healthy fucking foods in good portions because that's what you fucking serve them. Be a real fucking parent. Actually fucking try to help make sure that your child is given the best chance at a long, happy, healthy life. Because if you are not trying to ensure that your child has the best chance at a long, happy, healthy life, including watching what they fucking eat, including watching what activities they do, including all their fucking activities because they're your fucking child, you suck as a fucking parent. If you're not looking out for those things, you suck as a fucking parent. And if you are showing them unhealthy things by example, you should change you because you owe it to your fucking children. The Morbid Obesity Acceptance Society needs to shut the fuck up in general. But when you start fucking talking about how it's okay to have fat kids in a society that is now facing the fucking realities that we're facing, it makes you a horrible, evil fucking person. And that's just my two cents in the matter. My name's Alan Roberts. You can hit me up on Instagram at Alan Roberts. You can hit me on Twitter at Fitness. on Facebook at Everyday Fitness. On the internet at EverydayFitness.net. Again, you're all just pieces of shit. Goddamn.